Hey there, valued customer. Welcome to the TP-Link wireless adapter installation and setup video for Mac OS. So in this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install and set up your TP-Link wireless adapter onto your Mac. This is going to include three simple steps. The first one is connect the adapter. Second, install the driver and utility software. And the last one, join your Wi-Fi network. So let's begin. First, let's connect the adapter. So at this point, you've unboxed your wireless adapter, so go ahead and insert it into the USB ports onto your Mac. Make sure it's nice and flush into the USB ports. Next, we're going to install the driver and utility software. So on your Mac, open your web browser and enter www.tp dash link dot com into the address bar. Once that page loads up, on the top right corner, you're going to see a search menu. Enter the model number of your wireless adapter in the search bar. And in this example, we're going to use the WN723N. In the search results, click on the adapter and then on its page, click on the support page. Okay, so here we are at the support page. Choose the correct hardware version and click on the driver tab. Go ahead and scroll down and before you download the driver, please confirm the operating system and then go ahead and click the driver to download and the download will begin automatically. It's a small file, but you might have to wait a little while. But once it is downloaded, go ahead and locate the zip file and double click to extract it. Once it's extracted, you're gonna see a couple folders. Open the folder and run the file installer.pkg. A warning message may appear, go ahead and click OK, and then go down to System Preferences. This is a little security feature um, that you're going to override. So you're going to go under Security and Privacy, and then click Open Anyway towards the bottom. Uh, this is the official TP-Link software, so there is no security risk at all. Don't worry about it, you're all good. Uh, you're going to get a warning message one more time, click Open. And then the setup wizard window will appear with its own instructions that you can follow. It takes a little while to fire up, but click continue and follow the wizard to complete the installation process in the language you prefer. Now to install installation, you're gonna to need to input your system password. When prompted, go ahead and do that. A warning message again may appear and click continue installation. And then once it's all installed, you're gonna click restart to finish the installation and then your Mac will immediately restart. Last but not least, join a Wi-Fi network. So here we go, final step. After restarting, what's gonna happen is your Mac will now be able to use your network adapter to join whatever Wi-Fi network you want to join. Uh, to do that, click the utility icon to open the wireless utility. Click onto the Wi-Fi network that you're going to want to join. And if you need a password, enter that Wi-Fi password. If the password is correct, you're going to see that your adapter is now connected to the network, indicated by the green connection icon. And congratulations, your adapter is working and connecting you. Thank you for watching.